Hi, welcome to Unplugged with Araldo. And boy, do we have a great show for you today. We have a celebrity from the movie Gotti, as well as tips on how to buy the right fitness equipment, plus ways to eat healthy and not sacrifice taste. But first, I have a special co-host. She has made a name for herself with her Dish It Girl brand, and some of you may recognize her from the e-reality show, Married to Jonas. Welcome, Dina Delisa Gonsar. Hey. Hi, Dina, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. No, it's great to be back here. So a lot has happened since I, I saw know. you. So I tell know. me a little bit about what's going on. Well, now I have a one-year-old, so mm -hmm. I officially have a toddler. Sienna, right? Yes, little Miss Sienna. Miss Sienna. Yes, so now I'm running around chasing her, but <laughs> I'm still doing a lot of recipes and mm -hmm. still doing a lot of work with different brands and content creation. So. I'm a busy, busy mommy. Busy, busy mom, right? Busy, busy mommy. <laughs> oh, well, glad to see you again. All right, guys, so let's get to it. My first guest is best known for his acting roles in the hit movie Analyze That and the iconic TV series The Sopranos. Joining us is actor William DeMeo, who recently appeared in the movie Gotti with John Travolta and also has a new TV show, The Neighborhood, as well as a clothing and accessory collection called My Brooklyn Brand. Wow. Welcome, William DeMeo. Hey, William. Hey, Thanks for being guys. on the show, man. How are you? I'm, I'm great. I'm so great. I love, <laughs> I love to be in Philly. Philly's a great city, so it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, thanks. So we have a lot to, to talk about, and I, you know, I, I'd be reminisced if I don't ask about John Travolta. So tell us a little bit about how I was working with John Travolta in the movie Gotti. Oh, it was amazing. I, I, like I always say, I was always a big fan of John. Yeah. Uh, growing up in Brooklyn and the iconic movie Saturday Night Fever, right. which we all... Oh my God, I love I mean, that movie. Yeah, I uh, dress amazing, like that all the time, yeah, just the, to let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Still, <laughs> you need to bring that back. I need to bring that back, right? <laughs> the Tony Monero character was, was a legend and... Growing up, I was such a big fan of the movie, mm -hmm. and to work with John, he's, he's iconic. I have right. so many great movies from Pulp Fiction. Absolutely. Yeah, he just did so much great work, and, and to watch him play John Gotti Sr., he, wow. he did an amazing job, and it was, it, was, it was so great to work across from him. Sure. And Dream come true. Play in, uh, I played Sammy the Bull. Wow, Sammy the, Sammy the Bull. Wow. The That's traitor, right? right? The rat. The character. That, the yeah, rat. The rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better watch it. You better, you better watch, watch it. the rat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that was an iconic role too, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. So definitely. tell me, how, about, how was it to get ready for the part of Sammy the Bull? Well, you know, growing up in Brooklyn, mm. I knew a lot of people who, who knew Sammy and kind mm -hmm. of a little bit about what he was about. And then I had John Gotti Jr. on set giving me some oh, wow. pointers a little bit about Sammy. Wow. Mm. So I was able to get my feel towards what I, the vision for right. Sammy, which mm -hmm. was, you know, on the street, Sammy was, was a, you know, right there, a, a, a street dog. But then when you know, the, the turning point uh -huh. on, on the state on when he's talking in the courtroom right. was a whole different type of a, you see him, you've seen him in a very different light than who is actually John's number two. And then the flip, he's, you know, absolutely snitching on him. So William, you were born in Brooklyn, right? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Nice. Tell us, tell us about what, what makes Brooklyn so special. Even now I hear it's, it's a very hot, you know, it's town yeah, right it's now, like so up right, and well, up and yeah. coming well, town. Well, right. right now, well, Brooklyn's oh, right now. It's the hottest part in New York. Believe mm -hmm. it or not, everyone wants to live in Brooklyn because it's just so much. Manhattan became a little more touristy, believe it or not. Right. And, and yeah. Brooklyn is actually like considered like more of a cooler area to live. But I need to know what is the best Italian restaurant. In Brooklyn, like where do I need well, to there, go? Well, I know there's a lot of arguments, so I need to know okay. from you well, where well, am where? I going? Well, well, there's many, but there's a place that I go frequently in my neighborhood. It's called Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens. Yes, I was okay. gonna. You're I was gonna that? wait. I was gonna yeah. wait for you to say that, that place. That place, pizza, the Italian restaurant, Spumoni. Right. I mean, it's amazing, well, and amazing. there's a line around the block yeah. for pizza all the time. Wow. It's a great place, and the owners are very good friends of mine. I grew up right around there. I've shot some movies in mm -hmm. there. It's great. Just Brooklyn, you always kind of like, like kind of the Tony Monero character. Right, right, like right. Brooklyn, people like kind of feel like they have like an edge. There's just yes. something about Brooklyn yes. that makes Absolutely. it so special, and that's kind of why I started this Brooklyn brand clothing line. Mm -hmm. Right, Brooklyn brand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I, I feel like the the why I started that was because people in Brooklyn are very, very proud. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I always, wherever I went, would if I seen something that said Brooklyn on in a shirt uh -huh. or a hat, I'd buy it right, right. away. 
Yeah. And so many people do that. And as I started to be more successful in my career, if people ask right. me, can you wear my clothes for their, their clothing lines? Okay. And I said, you know what? Uh, I need to start my own. And I feel like Brooklyn brand, which I'm wearing right, right here. We're getting yeah. into the velours now. Thank Absolutely. you. The people that wear, you feel like you're a brand of Brooklyn. So it's almost right. like you're not wearing like a logo. You're, you, you are the logo. You're wearing, you're you're representing, you are the yes, Brooklyn, you're representing. Right? Yes, you're representing Brooklyn. So like, and people in Brooklyn are very proud. And there's so Absolutely. many people from Brooklyn everywhere. And there's so many famous people that are from Brooklyn. We could go, the list goes right, on and right, on. on, and on, and on you right. brought one back, right? That was, oh yeah. <laughs> you did. You brought one back. Yeah. Well, John is actually not from Brooklyn. He's right, from that's Jersey. Right. That's right. Oh, from Jersey. But right. I brought him right. back to the yep. pizzeria yep. where, where he said, give me two okay. slices for two Saturday slices. feet. Right. But nice. there's so many people that, that are from Brooklyn. We could go, the list goes on and on. So we got about a minute left, but I want you to tell me a little bit some of the projects you're working on right now, William. Yes, well, I have a TV series called The Neighborhood. Okay. Cool. Which is very exciting. Uh, I have a, a new well-known producer who's part of our project now. Okay. His name is Michael Tadros. Oh, wow. And he's from Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And they've done, some, him and his father are, are amazing producers. They've done movies like I Am Legend mm -hmm. and Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Eight. Of course. Amazing. No, it's amazing. Love amazing. They did the movie Two Bids. They, they, they've done so much great stuff in it too phenomenal people right, and it's right, great right. to have them part I felt like it was time to create a series that was kind of like I feel like people miss the Sopranos yeah they of course of so course. my show's about growing up in Brooklyn in the 80s right. people love shows that they could see their family in. <laughs> yeah. they yes. really love all right William listen that. my man thank you so much for being it's here it's an honor and pleasure to meet you, you. keep thank up the good work thank and you. I can't thank wait to you see guys. you great. soon great. Yeah. all right guys all right, guys, still to come, as a certified trainer, I am always asked, how do you know what gym and wellness equipment to buy? Well, I have some great tips right after the break. Hi, I'm Beverly Hills physician, Dr. Peter Waldstein. My patients include some of LA's most respected athletes and celebrities, all of them demanding nothing but the best. For arthritis, aches, and pains, I recommend Zen. Zen's all-natural line of pain relievers are specially formulated to relieve even the worst of strains, muscle soreness, or cramps. So the next time you're in pain, try Zen, a new over-the-counter pain reliever that is sure to have you feeling Zen once again. Available at your local Rite Aid. Welcome back. Recently, Eraldo went out in search of a great place to find gym and wellness equipment for every member of the family. Let's take a look. It's Eraldo here. Uh, we are at the Johnson Fitness and Wellness Store in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. And I'm here with the sales manager of the store, John McGoon. John. Hey, hey Eraldo. How nice are you, man? You. Very good, very good. Yourself? I'm doing terrific. All right. Thanks cool. for having us here. So tell me, John, um, tell us about the store a little bit. What What do you think uh, sets, you know, Johnson Fitness and Wellness apart from other uh, fitness okay. stores? Um, I guess the biggest thing is, you know, when our customers do walk through our doors, mm -hmm. uh, we like to give them a, an experience. Okay. You know, a, an education in fitness and, and wellness and you know, what it means to them and, and, you know, the advantages that it has in their life and okay. the energy that it brings and, you know, just try and make them feel as comfortable as possible when they do come in. When you have individuals coming in, basically, and I think uh, this should be, you know, highlighted of your store, it's the personal attention you give to people, yes, correct? Yes, yes, exactly. Because fitness is a challenge for most people, for any people, but for most people, it's really a challenge. So you want to make them feel at home. You want to make them feel comfortable. Absolutely. And the best way to do it, right, is to you know, test out the equipments, right? Exactly. Yeah. So tell Get us about that piece. experience. <laughs> sure. So somebody comes in the door, you know, we uh, meet and greet them and, okay. and find out, you know, why they're here, mm -hmm. you know, if they have uh, any kind of injuries, if okay. there's any issues medically right. that we need to know about health wise. And, uh, you know, then we proceed to either put them on the equipment that they mm -hmm. came in looking for or guide them towards, you know, the piece of equipment that would best suit their needs and help them achieve their goals. Okay. So do you see a variety of individuals coming in? Or is it technically just basically uh, women? Or is it, just, is it men? Is it no, more I'd women? Say is it it's, men? It's, a, it's a mixture of both. You know, okay. we, get a, we get a huge, you know, variety of people that come in here. People who okay. are in really, really good shape. Mm -hmm. You know, people that are everyday, you know, trainers. They work right. out every single day. Uh, and then we get the opposite of that. You know, people okay. that are coming in for the first time in their life. Right. Maybe their doctor told them, hey, you need to work out. Okay. You know, you need to live a more healthy life, you right. know, lifestyle. And, um, yeah, and, you know, so you just 
<laughs> yeah, <pick up laughs> deal with everybody, deal with everybody yeah, else, exactly, right? Exactly. Um, what would you say is the most uh, typical or the most uh, um, you know, a uh, well-known concern about people when they come here. What, what what seems to be the trend basically lately? Weight loss. Weight loss. Weight loss is always the biggest thing. Okay. You know, it's, I, I think industry-wide, it's it's always been you know something that people have fought with. And, okay. You know that and diabetes. You know we've get a we get a fair amount of people who come in that are diabetic or okay. right on the verge of diabetes. Right. Know, and also your website is terrific. Thank you. Which people can <laughs> right can people can actually go on and schedule an appointment to maybe meet somebody and yes, talk to somebody. Absolutely. And and uh, the people that are working in the stores, like yourself, are certified and are also knowledgeable in the air, which is what I think people, guys, you need to pay attention. It's just what they really need to know. Somebody that can give them a blueprint, right? Somebody exactly. can give them a road exactly. that they can go on. We can't do it for you. Right. You can't do it for them. lay it out. You know, we, we try and make it as easy, as easy as possible. We are going to take a hands-on look at what they have here at Johnson Fitness and Wellness. John, basically tell me um, why so many people are, are in, you know, interested in the treadmill. What, what makes it special about the treadmill? Um, you know, people like that traditional workout. Okay. Uh, people who either like to walk or mm -hmm. like to run, you know, right. it's something that it's easy for them to do. It's something that they really love. Right. Um, you know, it's... I don't think the treadmill will ever go away. But what's great about the stores as well is they, they have uh, additional uh, pieces of um, you know equipment or things you can add on yes, to your right? yeah, accessory and everything else, exactly. right? So you have uh, bars, you have dumbbells, you have belts, you have uh, medicine balls, whatever. I mean, whatever toots your horn, right? That's Absolutely. exactly what you guys have. A little bit of everything. A you little bit of everything. Your one-stop shop for all of your fitness equipment needs. Absolutely. And I also notice you have the massage here as yes. well, right? Yes. Recovery. How popular are these? Uh, they're actually they're something that is getting more popular. Right. Um, you know, a lot of people they they you know are either at work all day and they stress. Right. You know, or they've worked out. Right. And they're just looking for that. You know that recovery, sure. Or, you know, way to um, de-stress, de de right, relax. Exactly. We are gonna go check out the uh, the last piece of equipment, which I, I'm very interested in. And you guys uh, have a recumbent bike here, which is made by Matrix. It's just one of your top selling brands. Is that yes, correct? Yes, absolutely. Yep. All right, so guys, I'm actually gonna go on the recumbent bike here. Uh, I'm gonna sit down. So John is gonna actually teach me a little bit how to use the uh, the screen here. So let's put okay. my feet here. We Excellent. Can first, start off by making sure that you're sitting appropriately from the pedals. So okay. So make sure that when you extend out, right? Yes. You don't want to feel like you're stretching for the pedals. So okay. That actually looks pretty good. Pretty good, right? You want to feel comfortable in the seat. I feel um, very comfortable. You know, seat. if you do have any back issues, uh -huh. this seat can also recline, which is a really, really nice feature. Wow. Look at so that. So if you want to lean Ooh. back a little bit more, or if you feel like coming a little bit more upright, you can basically lock that seat in position. Excellent. And you're ready to start. I'm ready working. to start rolling. So I'm already <laughs> starting to perspire, guys. This is awesome. And this is very easy to navigate. Yes, right? yes. Awesome screen. Really, really popular. Mm -hmm. This is the Matrix XIR console. Right. Um, it's a 16 inch HD touch screen. Mm -hmm. Functions exactly like your smartphone. Right. Uh, you could store user profile information on here. And you can also scroll through uh, and see all of your workouts. Wow, look at that. Training. Goals, goals target, your target heart rate, heart rate right? Sprinting, sprinting high intensity virtual. interval yeah. training. Yep, virtual training, which is pretty cool. And then once you do initially start your workout. Gives you a countdown. <laughs> I'm ready to go, guys. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Takes Woo! you to your home screen. To home which, screen. You know, look again, at this. A lot of people are familiar with this kind of look. It's uh -huh. your tablet. It's your phone. Uh, you've got a number of applications that are built into the console just to make the experience more fun. Amazing. Amazing. All right, John, listen. Thank you so much for the wonderful Thank tour. You. This store is amazing. Guys, check out the Johnson Fitness and Wellness Store right here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. And listen, they're open seven days a week, so there is no excuse. Come on by, okay? I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Thanks, Geraldo. Wow, that store has everything to get in shape. I'm going to have to go this weekend. Stick around after the break. We will share with you some must-have products for your pet. We'll be right back. Both my legs were amputated due to an IED. It's when you start to try to get back into like an everyday life. I absolutely felt like I lost some of my purpose. There must be something more. 
When DAV came into my life, they gave me a new mission. I could still be a productive member of society, could still support a family. The DAV gave him that sense of structure and purpose again to get his life back together. Visit DAV.org to learn more about our mission. We are back. Now, we all love our pets, including me, and I have a recent study found that pet owners exhibited great self-esteem, were more physically fit, and were more conscientious than non-pet owners. Did you know that? No, I didn't know there all of that. <laughs> but, I mean, walking a dog would certainly help keep you in yes. shape. <laughs> Plus, we want to keep all of our pets healthy and safe. Mm -hmm. Joining us now is Dana Humphrey, who is known as the Pet Bye -bye. Lady, to hey. share with us great pet products. Hi, Dana. Dana. Hello. How are you? Oh my God, who is this? Please make this me This is Miss Pepper Potts. She Pepper is Potts. ready to go with her pearls on. Oh my God. I love it. And she's actually a local rescue. She comes from Paws Hi. here in Philly. Hi there. And she is actually mm -hmm. Miss July 2019. She's a pinup oh. girl. Pitbulls for pinups. Oh, amazing. I know. You're a superstar. You know, I try to do that, but I couldn't get on it. You know, but, uh, you know, Maybe now that you know God Pepper, you know? she, can, she can make it happen. You Maybe made it. Maybe she can give you some pointers. Let me give me some tips after yeah. the show, right? <laughs> so if you're going to be traveling with your pets this fall, there's mm -hmm. some things you can bring along. Right. Um, Gen 7 Pets makes some great travel gear, whether you have a small yes. dog or a okay. big dog like Pepper. Um, if you have a small dog, you could bring the snuggle pocket. Right. I always say bark buckle up. You want to make sure they're safely up. strapped <laughs> in. That is um, an actual bed, right, Dana? Yeah, it's actually, the snuggle pocket's a great little travel carrier for the car. And uh -huh. this, the sleeper, is a travel bed. Oh. So you can walk with them, make sure they're getting their steppage, and you're getting uh -huh. your steppage, and then yes. you open it up into a bed. Right. Oh. And then for a bigger girl like Pepper, the deluxe car seat protector is awesome. Keeps the shedding away, keeps mm -hmm. your car safe, right. and nice. you can also buckle them in while they're in the back seat. Wow. So that's awesome. a great option if you're gonna be maybe doing some trips this fall, going to the beach. Yes. Maybe some long fall foliage drives. Yeah, that's right, exactly. right? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And so, what do we have back here? We're we're feeding them something good. It yeah, looks like. proper nutrition is always okay. really important. Um, I love Supreme Source. It's a family-owned business from Utah, mm. and it actually has a well boost with seaweed. So oh, wow. just like how seaweeds are fun, like snack for us to eat yeah. these days. Now you can feed it to your pet, gluten-free, great ingredients. She likes it. Yeah, she she's, like, she's like, give she me some Supreme it. Source. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that looks really good. I'm a, I'll probably take a snack right yeah. now, yeah, just right. bite into it when I'm done, because I'm starving right now, to be honest with you. But <laughs> now that looks really good, actually. Lamb, meal, peas, everything. Lentils, wow. I love lentils. Yeah. Oh my goodness great gracious, that looks so good, right? And Sounds there's like also something. white fish, you know, yeah. chicken, so really great protein really sources. Great, right? Oh, yeah. She's hungry. She's I like, I'm hungry really for it. Like All right, Dana, let's move on to the, uh, I guess you have some costumes yes. here or something? Yes. Well, you know, Halloween is also around the corner. Yes. So if you want to dress up your pet, check out Pet Crew, and that's K-R-E-W-E. Okay. We have the awesome uh, mermaid or merman costume. Oh. So that's oh, a lot merman. of fun for the under the sea. <laughs> and also the unicorn. The unicorn's a great option. It's just a hat, so it's not so many you know, pieces right. um, for your pet to um, mm -hmm. take off or try to take okay. off. Great mm -hmm. for an Instagram picture. Right. Um, and and they it's also safe have... to dress them up? Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. totally safe. These are just Velcro. So, okay. you know, even Great. if they chew on it, it's not going to do anything. Awesome. Mm. Um, there's no, yeah, pieces that can come off. Okay. And also they have a really awesome new app where you can take a video of your pet in their costume Aww. and Get transform out. them into an augmented reality l zone. So wow. Pepper wow. could be like in, the, in the mermaid <laughs> costume and be in an under the sea little video right. on, your, on your app. Right. So that together with the, uh, you know, the modeling, that's, 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 that's <laughs> a gift any better, right? Yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> All right, so you have some doggy water that I want to do this yes. here. Let's yes. talk about this doggy water. Yes, the doggy water is great because just like us, uh, we use electrolytes, you right. know, if mm -hmm. we have Gatorade or something yeah. like that. This is now uh, doggy water for them, vitamins and electrolytes. If oh, you go wow. for a run, replenish their system. Wow. Um, and you also want to keep them clean. Yes. Right. So this is a great new line called Rufus and Coco from Australia. Rufus okay. and Coco. And, you know, there's a, it's really fun. There's brushes. There's toys. Right. Um, there's in-between grooming sprays, you know, shampoos oh, and conditioners. Oh, wow. Fancy. I wow. love this see me shine. 
uh, two-in-one wash, and this also has sea and shine. I love that name. Uh, <laughs> sea minerals in it, and it smells oh, really wow. good. Mm -hmm. um, you can get these nationwide. I think you can get these at PetSmart. So wow. definitely check out Rufus and Coco. Rufus and Coco. Do they make it for humans too, or is it just for dogs? Well, actually, uh, doggy shampoo is pH balanced specifically for pets okay. versus yes. us. You could use it in a pinch, right? But um, <laughs> it is formulated specifically for them. Okay. So you know you want to stick to your own. Want to <laughs> Your <laughs> and and last but not least, you want to keep your pets calm. Right. Yes. Um, a great natural way to keep them calm is CBD. Mm -hmm. um, oh. I take CBD myself. CBD is awesomely safe for pets as well. There's no psychotropic effects. It's not going to okay. make your dog high. Um, and <laughs> it also has Arctic krill in it. So oh, it's kind of a little theme yeah, a little special <laughs> feature. Um, but it's a great thing if you're going to be traveling with your pet. Right. Give them some CBD before you go. But just like us, you know, nothing new on race day. Right. Try CBD maybe a couple days before your big trip yeah. to make sure to dress with them. Yeah, sometimes right. dogs do get nervous in the car. No yeah. My mom's dog does, so that and, would be a good option. And so, they Dina, pick, give us our, we're out of time, unfortunately, yes. but give us a website where we can get more information. Sure. You. Um, you can check out thepetlady.net and follow me at hashtag thepetlady. Wow, it was awesome. so nice to yeah. have you here. Thanks yes. for being thank here. Thank you. And thank you, Pepper. Oh, bless. <laughs> Pepper's All right. tired. All right, <laughs> thanks, Dana. A lot of work. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. Meet Blue. Blue's not feeling well. The prescription? Generic medication. Blue wonders, do they really work as well as name brands? Yes, generics and name brand medications do work the same. Even though they may look different, generics have the same key ingredients. FDA approval is equally rigorous for generics to make sure they're as safe and effective as name brands. And Blue even saves some green, making him a little less, well, blue. Talk to your doctor about generics and visit FDA.gov slash generic drugs. We are back, and who doesn't love bread but deal with the guilt when we eat it? I always deal with the that. I, I you know bread, what right? you're talking about, you're but I, okay. I still do it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> However, yeah. Kale Anjorian, the founder of Life Bread, is here to tell us and show us how we can put delicious tasting bread back into our diet. Oh, Hooray! Thank God. I know. Yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> how are you, Kale? I'm excellent, excellent. <laughs> thank, thank you for, for having here. me on the show. Yeah. Thank you very much. So tell us, tell us a little bit about life bread, because I'm I'm going to take a, a you know a slice right now because I'm I'm really hungry. So I'm just going to take <laughs> one while you. So tell me about life bread. What makes it so unique? So uh, what we've done is life bread is what bread should be. Right. It okay. really should. Uh, what we've done is we've set forward to create an all natural and organic mm -hmm. um, bread. Um, that is uh, free, it's uh, allergen-free bread, right. is what we call okay. it. And that's how we're gonna market it. Alleg allergen-free allergen -free bread, bread is so right. much more than just gluten-free. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, mm -hmm. peanut-free, non-GMO, we don't use yeast. Wow. We don't wow. use risers, we don't use any of that stuff to create this incredibly healthy bread. Mm -hmm. And what we say is, you know what, there should be no sacrifices with great tasting, right. healthy bread. Now that's when you say right. healthy bread to me, I wanna know, well what makes the bread healthy, what is in life bread? Um, so that's a great question. <laughs> um, so great question, yeah. Part, part of this journey was science, is okay. how do you take 20 all natural ingredients that you can actually spell? You mm -hmm. can spell these ingredients. Yes. They're right. very natural. And how do you get them to do what it does? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the science part of it. It's very right. challenging because mm -hmm. we don't use binding agents or right. gums or anything that ties, you know, bread, it's supposed to tie bread together yes. that you see in traditional breads. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the other half of the journey was to add a culinary art mm -hmm. and really like perfect that. life bread to be the product that it is today. Everything right. from taste, tone, texture, Correct. pliability, wow. applicability. It has to look delicious, not only taste delicious. That's right. So you're, you're not a baker though, right? I am not. A You're baker. not a baker. Oh, okay. So Neither what? Mine. What made you? What possessed you to come up with life bread? What? What? What was the incentive to, to start life bread? Um, well, I love bread. Oh yeah, uh, as well. Like, yeah. Every, like everybody, everybody does. Yeah. Like everybody does. Um, and uh, eating clean is another thing that I think people should not have to sacrifice right. taste um, in order to, in order to enjoy. Um, you know, for me, it's about eating clean. So it is. 
In, in today's factory foods, right. uh, today's foods today, right. are, they're super concerning, right? Of course. Yes. They're highly processed, yeah. uh -huh. factory produced chemicals, right. refined. Right. And you know what? I just, it's not right. No. And no. people shouldn't have to deal with that. People with allergens, and, and you know, what it's showing people with allergens are growing and growing and growing Correct. as the days go. It's becoming a huge go. conversation. It's becoming a huge conversation. Schools, it's a kids bringing their school lunches. Right. And, Absolutely. Yeah. And the choices that they have. Are, are, are finite right. and the choices that are there they don't taste good either right so with life bread we're kind of it's a two-pronged approach right. we're not only giving out al allergen pe folks with an allergen right. mm -hmm. uh, the ability to eat healthy and clean mm -hmm. but giving folks who are just on a diet and want right. to change their diet and eat more healthy the ability to eat amazing tasting right. bread so how long has life bread then been around it was just started right basically yeah it's about two years two wow. years a little over two years in the making so it's a year of science uh -huh. and a year of sort of culinary development development mm -hmm. to make it a very attractive looking bread. Right, it's pretty. right? There's there's an appeal to bread <laughs> because it has to be sort of attractive. When I walk into a bakery, you know, my mm -hmm. local bakery, the True. first thing that I look at is the you know the texture of the bread, right? How it looks. And of course, then when you eat it, the taste is another thing. But that's what attracts me. For I don't know about you, Dina, but that's yes. exactly what it does to me first. Well, you eat with your eyes first. Everybody that's, that's true, right? Exactly. That. But I also want to know what does this taste like? What are the different varieties that you have? So we have four different varieties of what we call a Pullman loaf, your regular loaf of okay. bread. We have four different varieties, uh, and they're named. Their names are a bit special: Unity, Natural, Heart, and Free. I love those names. And they so all. Smile. Right? <laughs> uh, you, you, you should not only do you enjoy. You should you enjoy what you're right. eating? Yeah. You should be called something wonderful as right. well. Eating this bread to be more unified. <laughs> right. That's my right. new excuse. Right? Looks like a baby name too. Right? Unity. Like hey, how are you? I we want it. the experience to be, you know, uh, pleasurable th the entire way. I love right. it. Um, Thinking of it all. So, uh, so yeah, so um, it, we've got Pullman loaves. Uh, right. So the in the each, each have um, a different foundation mm -hmm. uh, with a different taste. So uh, the applicability is really what we aimed for. Okay. Every seating, every you know food seating from breakfast to lunch right. to brunch to dinner to dessert. Uh, we, we feel we've covered the gamut and you can apply okay. each version of life bread to that. We also now have hamburger buns wow. and pizza crusts. Pizza crusts. Absolutely, yes. Really? Wow, that's, we've got a, that's gonna be amazing. Um, we've got a, a large demand from consumers for buns and pizza crusts wow. because what's out there today is not very healthy. So give us quickly the website when we get more information. So it's www.lifebread, L-I-F, E B R E D dot com. Not B R E D. Okay. Yep. All right, really? and you can find us on social media yes. under under Life Bread as well. Kale, thanks so much for being here, and good luck to you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Again, thanks to all of my guests, and a special thank you to my co-host Dina Deliza Gansar for being here, and thanks to all of you at home for watching. Make sure you tune in next time for another great show. And let's continue our conversation on social media at Eraldo Maglara. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great week. Preceding was sponsored by Fitness Training by Araldo Incorporated. Promotional consideration is paid for by 